This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abed Ruhr Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are back at Nebenes Supercharger, and behind me here is Tesla Model Y. So today I want to find out two things. Uh, okay, well, yesterday I came here and did range test with Windrun tires, 18 inch. Um, they were actually narrower than these ones. Now we have put on the, the original Hancock tires. See, 255, 45, 19. Yesterday I used 235, 55, 18. So narrower tires, but not these wheel caps. So I want to find out, is the consumption with these wheels, rims, tires uh, better than the wind run? And also, these wheel caps, how much do they actually help? I tested it in, uh, in America a couple of years ago with a Model 3 and at high speed, well, ha high speed, the difference was around 2 to 4%. I wasn't 100% sure. There might be some runoff error. So let me tell you the plan now. We will keep the wheel caps on. We will do the high speed test now because it's in the midday and we don't have too many left lane huggers yet. So we will start from Nebenes, drive to Espa and back again, doing 120 kilometers per hour. And I have not supercharged the car because the battery, I wanted to stay at around 30 degrees. Whereas now we, we are not running any cooling on the battery that messes up the, uh, the consumption and also the result. So let's get ready and then we do the first run. We are on the move now. So uh, we have to cruise 122 to match the 120 GPS speed. Uh, oh, what, what? Is there something wrong with that uh, wind sock? It's hanging. The sock is hanging. There's usually some... Oh, no, actually. Whoa, Mjösen is really calm today. Holy macaroni. It's not... Yeah, yeah, see? No wind. Basically, no wind right now. Well, that is perfect uh, driving condition. So we're going to see how low the consumption is. Oh, look at this. 196 watt hour per kilometer. That is the lowest I've ever seen. I think it was even lower than yesterday. And we've been getting a quite uh, quick, clean run so far. So let's see now. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're halfway on this leg almost before we have to turn around. So uh, one fourth of the trip done. Shit. We're on the way back now and uh, there was a slowdown right here. Uh, you see, we have to drive slightly slower, but it wasn't for too many hundred meters. But that will affect the consumption uh, in a positive way. Plus that uh, now, just bad luck, just happened to be uh, right behind um, a van that seems to be driving almost the same speed as me, which also gives a positive drafting effect. So you see, it's really hard to test this correctly. I think I would purposely hug the left lane a bit to avoid uh, drafting. Well, I don't know how much drafting we get from that van right now, but I have to keep constant speed. If I slow down, it will then be better for this car. So again, really hard to test this accurately. And I don't want to do too many rounds. Round number one. 195 watt hour per kilometer that is remarkably low so when i did the test yesterday it was getting dark the sun has set and it was 17 degrees but uh, just having sunlight outside and i guess also the wheel cap makes it so much better 100 this 206 yesterday 195 now just to put things in perspective smaller cars like uh, E28, no, okay, maybe not E2, but let's say uh, the, the Citroen ET, EC4, for example, will have higher consumption than the Model Y, and Model Y is way bigger than those small cars. So this is really impressive. Anyway, let's uh, take off the caps. Okay, and now we take off the wheel caps. You just pull them off like this. You see, it creates, I guess, a better aerodynamic uh, properties. So we'll find out how much does this help compared to now without. Second run now, and uh, we see that there is some wind building up. Compared to the previous run, it was quite still, especially around uh, Minnesun. Then this actually affects the consumption. You see that it is slightly higher now than previous run. We were dipping below. 200 on the previous run so uh but then of course on the way back we get the tailwind but totally uh total back and forth will still be higher because of the wind 
but it's almost impossible to do it correctly. Then you have to do it in a lab. But okay, uh, seems like there's also some roadworks here, just like previous run. Round two, still 120 kilometers per hour, but with caps off 201. This is just six watt hour per kilometer higher or 3% higher. Uh, but the temperature is also higher this time, but I guess that offsets for the increased wind. So I think we'll say that both conditions were more or less the same. So that's it. 3% saving with the caps on versus off. So uh, yeah, you see, by the way, uh, of course, the car, I mean, the car doesn't know that we took the caps off. <laughs> it's not that smart. <laughs> but okay, now we're going to do 90 test and see the differences then. But we're just going to keep the cap caps off now and do the test. Around 3, 90 kilometers per hour with caps off. 146, hmm, very close to my result yesterday. That was 148 watt hour per kilometer. But uh, we have, of course, slightly more overhead now because the, the route is only 61 kilometers versus yesterday I did drive uh, 450 in one go. Well, okay, now let's uh, put on the caps again. So in order to put it back, just look for this one here. That's where the vent is and then you just line it up and just push it in there you go okay we're now doing the 90 test with the wheel caps on but i'm going to show you the wheel the 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 bridge caps oh shit this is why i use 18 inch because the suspension is just too hard oh i mean it has been set to be sporty but Oof, okay, these were not bad, that bad. It was the first one, the first uh, gap over there. Oof, man, I, I will make a separate video where I talk about the whole thing, you know, the ASMR video, yeah. I'll, then I'll talk more about suspension and we put it through the test. But I mean, the car has nice um, handling in curves. It doesn't wag as much as the, the Model X, but the downside is that they just made it, uh, yeah, uncomfortable for my spine. We're back at the starting point. So, the result this time was 142 watt hour per kilometer. That is remarkably low again. The lowest I've ever seen. So, to my, uh, well, maybe not to my big surprise, but um, I had a suspicion that the Hong Kong tires were actually more uh, efficient than the, um, the Windrun tires. Maybe because the Windrun tires are new so they need a little bit of burning time i don't know but despite narrower tires these ones just have better rolling resistance i guess so um you see we also for some reason now we have three percent difference uh, that's a bit high in the low speed test i measured before that it should be only one percent but it could just be round off error uh, but okay so that means that actually in this test if i would do the test but again we don't we, we don't know uh, if we can trust it 100 percent since it's just a short sprint a short stint only 60 kilometers when you actually do the the full test uh, you don't drive too much back and forth which then brings down the average speed but at least based on this one you should be able to get 493 kilometers of range and that's very close to the vltp range of 507 so it is possible to achieve VLTP and actually I'd, I wonder if the VLTP might might count on using the zero buffer. Uh, yes, if you use a zero buffer you can also probably also reach over 500 kilometers but then I don't recommend going below zero. But yeah, so anyway, what, what is the conclusion then? Uh, wheel caps will help mostly on high speed. Uh, but uh and also uh we don't know about the yeah by the way uh, tire pressure is also the i also check tire pressure as always it's 3.1 bar uh, also on the, on the wind run set and also on this one but yeah actually narrower tires on the wind run still was not as efficient as these uh, uh Kong, so maybe tesla on purpose put uh, put on hancock because they know that they are efficient so 142 watt hour per kilometer is just ridiculously low <laughs> there like just compared to many other evs you can just look in the list just look in the in the spreadsheet and you will see how low this is for a suv crossover so again thumbs up or uh, two thumbs up to tesla for making really efficient car but also like you guys have seen 
weather makes an, uh, also a, a difference and also tires, rims make a difference. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.